Hey guys, so today I filmed a get ready with me. It is on this look that I'm wearing right now. Super bronzed, really easy. There's no liner, no false lashes. I love it. I think it's so fun for spring and summer. And what I really like about this is I have downturned eyes. So I always used to think like I couldn't wear a lot of colors in the crease and things like that and on my lid without a liner and some false lashes, but that is totally false. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's just really bronzed, easy, fun, something you could do for every day. I'm also going to show you guys like my bare nail routine. I know that sounds really weird, but I don't have enough time these next few weeks to get my nails done. So when it's up to me to keep my nails done, there's a certain process that I do to make sure that they still look shiny without polish. Um, you could also do this method and put polish on top. It'll make it really smooth, but I personally love bare nails. That way I don't have to worry about chipping or anything like that, and I love my nails to be super short. So I'm also going to show you what I do with the Amo Pay. This is like a lifesaver if you don't want to go to the nail salon. So if you guys want to see how I got ready and the full process of everything, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the nails since it's the easiest and quickest to do. So I'm using this Almo Pay nail care system and I really like this. It's three steps and it's all labeled for you. So the first step is to file. And a quick tip I have learned from using this is you definitely want to use it on the normal setting. You use the higher setting for your toes and everything. So you just want to go side to side with this product and you don't have to put down a lot of pressure at all. Just a very light amount to file down that nail. And then the next step is buff. Buffing is great. I also show you kind of throughout this video like what the nails look like after I file them. So that's what they look like. They just look like you went to a nail salon and got the file done. And then when you move on to buff, the buff is just going to help buff this out. And then the last step is shine, which is my favorite part because I don't have to wear a clear gloss or anything when I shine my nails. It looks like you have a clear gloss on, but you don't. I used to have something like this back in the day, and when I found out there was one that was electric, because the one I used to have was like a just a square thing. Um, once I found out there was an electric one, I was all about it. It's just so easy to use since it files, buffs, and shines your nails. This also does encourage healthy nail growth, which is amazing. And even though I just like to use it for bare nails, you can do this before you do a polish and it'll make it really nice and smooth. So if you like to do at home manicures or just take care of your nails yourself, I think this is a must have product. Okay, so moving on to makeup. This is a really simple makeup look, but I wanted to show you if you have downturned eyes that you can rock a darker color in the crease. I know I didn't think I could for a while because I felt like it made me look even more tired and my eyes more downturned, but I'm gonna show you how you can avoid that. So honestly, the main step is tape. This tape is amazing. Put it on the back of your hand a couple times, get some of that sticky glue off and just put that on. And as long as you angle this up from your lower lash line up to your brow, it will give you that angled shadow going up. And what it will do is it will lift the eye, even if you put a darker color in the crease. So I'm using a few Makeup Geek shadows right now. This is more of a warm toned mustardy brown color. And I love it. You guys know I love these colors. And this is one of Makeup Geek's newest shades and I wanted to play with it because I was looking through all the PR stuff that she sent and I saw this one and I was like uh yes I need this one in my life <laughs> so I what I did is I went in there first and I really lightly put that in the crease and buffed it up towards the brow more and then once I had that all buffed out I did go in a little bit more into the crease and just define it to make it look a little bit more deep then I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. Later on I will go in with Fix Plus and really amp this up so you can see it better. But if you even want just a super light look, I think this is great and it's a really gorgeous color. I'll have all the colors listed down below in the order that I use them. Then I'm going to take this darker brown shade, it has some gold in it as well, and I'm going to take a more precise crease brush, and I'm going to focus more in the crease, and I'm not going all the way into the inner corner, I'm just going to keep it right there in the outer part, I'm going about halfway into my crease, and what I noticed about this is A, it helps define your crease, and B, it does make your eyes look a little bit bigger, because I go a little bit above my crease, um, just because I don't have a super defined one, so I like to just do that, and then I'll go in with a blending brush and just blend this out so we don't have any harsh lines. And then like I said, this is where I went with MAC Fix Plus and that color I used all over the lid. And I just packed that on even more because it wasn't as vibrant without the Fix Plus
going back in with that mustard brown shade that we used in the beginning, I am just going to go back in and blend out the edges. I always go in after every single color that I do and just blend everything out to make sure we don't have any harsh lines or jagged edges. <laughs> One of the great things about having this tape on is you can take it off and bam, you have a nice sharp line. If you wanted to go ahead and do liner with this look, you could do it and it would be nice and precise with that um, tape. And then I went in with my waterproof mascara and my regular primers and I'm just going to use foundation. I've been loving this Smashbox foundation, but it is way too light for me, so I had to go on with this Marc Jacobs one, which is still another favorite. I absolutely adore this foundation, and I love it with this foundation brush from Marc Jacobs. I think it is by far the best way to apply it. It applies so evenly and smooth, and I know it looks super crazy right now, but this matches my body, and my face is super pale um, because I don't self-tan my face because I will like break out. But I do that, and then I'm going in with my concealer. I'm sorry, I just can't get away from this concealer. Let me know your favorite ones down below in the comments, whether it's drugstore, high-end. I love this concealer. I love the consistency, and I use a lot of it, but it never looks cakey. So I just I can't get away from it, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I put that underneath my eyes and down the center of my nose at per usual. Then it's time to make ourselves super bronzed, and I love this bronzer from Urban Decay. If you want to look like you just came back from the beach, this is the way to go. I'm obsessed with it. I'm using a Benefit brush to bronze up the face, but I'm going to put this on the high points of my forehead and also my cheeks and a little bit underneath my chin. Then to contour, we're using an oldie but a goodie, the Benefit Hula Bronzer and this Real Techniques brush. I cannot get away from this Real Techniques brush. I think it's just so good and it's super fluffy and just really easy to use. I mean, it takes no time to do my contour. So I'm going to put that in my contour line and then also underneath my lip. And I did contour my nose with it as well and the tops of my forehead. Next up, I wanted to use a rosy blush. This is Technicolor by Lorac. I was going to either go for this kind of blush or a more bronze blush, but I decided to go with this one because I like the flushed look that it gives. It kind of looks like you got a little bit of sun. And then I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit, and I forget the one that I have. I think it's the Warm Glow. And I'm going to use her brush that I purchased from Sephora, which I love, by the way. And I'm going to apply my highlighters to the tops of my cheekbones. I'm kind of doing this heavily, and I love these two together. Together. They're so warm and beautiful and if you're doing a bronzed look, I think these highlighters are amazing because they have that warm kind of golden glow to them and they just go with the look so well. So put it on the cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow and I also rock the yellow one into my brow bone. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I love to rock the same highlighter that I'm wearing on my face underneath my brow a lot of the time and that's what I did today and I really put a lot in the inner corner as well to brighten that area up. Then I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil to brighten up my eyes as well. I'm putting this on my waterline and this will also help make your eyes look a little bit bigger and more awake. And then I'm going to take that golden brown shade we used in the crease and I'm very lightly putting this on my lower lash line. So we don't drag this look down even more since we do have a darker color in the crease and I have downturned eyes. I'm not doing a super smoked out lash line. I'm just very lightly putting that on the bottom lash line to define it a little bit but I'm not going crazy with it because I don't want to accentuate how downturned my eyes can be and smoke it out even more you know what I'm saying so just keep it light and then I put a little bit of mascara on and then this lip liner is great this is by Circa and it's from Walgreens it's such a good liner and then I'm using this Too Faced melted liquid lipstick I really like this formulation I think it's great this color was a little too light for me so I ended up going over it with a Kylie lip gloss in literally and I love the way that it turned out I just thought it was so pretty 
And then next up is hair. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I just straightened it, but a lot of you like to know what I use. So I love the Numi Megastar. I've been using this forever. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen this every time I straighten my hair. I think it's just great. So definitely check it out. If you're looking for a new straightener, I always have coupon codes and stuff like that below if you're interested. You bring out electric And then last up is the outfit. It's just something really casual, fun, kind of cute and summery. So the top that I have on is from Lulu's. My shorts are from One Teaspoon. I love One Teaspoon, but if you order them, definitely make sure to go down a couple sizes. And my bracelets are from the Stacked Collection, and my shoes are Jeffrey Campbell. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.